Welcome back team. Uh, this is uh, Strategic Command World at War WW2 and I'm about to start a campaign game as the Axis. Um, you're gaming with the Colonel and uh, we're basically doing this so that we can see and practice what I've been told I need to do which is using the headquarters properly. Now uh, we're getting ready to play a game against Mr. Harry Smith, as well as another game with one of my subscribers in another couple of weeks. So it'll be fun to see how those play out. But for now, I'm going to practice here and see if I cannot make this happen and make it a little better. Last time was a huge cluster. Couldn't get into a lot of things. Uh, it took me forever to beat uh, France. Took me forever to beat the Poles. Uh, hopefully I'm better this time. Okay, so one of the things I learned is that um, you're going to want to be ready as the Italians, right? So, and while I don't think that this strategy is going to work against a human opponent, I think it will work against the AI. So I will continue to do that. So I'm going to take this guy right here and I'm going to transport him. Now, last time I did this, I ended up dying miserably in uh, right over here in this port because I tried to bring him over here, right? So that was suboptimal. And we definitely want to reinforce these guys over here before the war starts. That's important. Um, so they get maxed out. And we're probably going to bring this guy back because otherwise he's just going to die there. So... Um, probably stick them into dire diwa okay so the rest of the italians i'm not gonna they don't have much to do i do need to go ahead and reinforce the italian headquarters whenever possible they'll come uh, to here actually you can stay there for a turn this guy will move over and this guy will move up uh, don't have any money left so there's that also, we don't want to be sitting in Toronto. There's an event that ends up killing all your units there. And we're going to, we can leave these guys up here for now, I suppose. And um, let's see here. Bring up all of these guys. Matter of fact, I can force march these guys. Look at that. Force marching is good. I didn't know about that either the last couple times I played. Um, normally what I do is I bring down another unit. I'll have to do that next time. In the meantime, we can cruise down like this. Okay. That's pretty much the Italian turn. So, they've got no money left. We're good to go. All right, with the Axis. So, we've got a couple of things we can upgrade. Might as well upgrade anything we can, right? So this guy is going to move into here. We're going to upgrade that fighter because he'll be important when they counterattack. And we'll upgrade one of these guys, probably him. Because uh, he also needs an upgrade. And he can do it now, but he cannot do it later. <laughs> well, the problem is, is I don't have enough to upgrade more than one, which is unfortunate. Over here. All right, so here's where we got our our uh, guys. So we can see who. So what we're going to do is we're going to set to auto assist. So this guy here is going to get. Hold on. So this guy here, we're going to detach him. And then we can attach somebody else. Well, maybe I don't need to because I've got five everywhere. Let's see. But we'll, well, we'll reattach them for now. Um, so this guy's got one, two, three, four, five. He's got all five of these guys. Okay. And this guy here has one, two, three, four, five. Probably need to undo that one. So let's set mode auto assist. 
we're going to detach him and attach him. I think that'll work better. This guy here does not have him attached, but he does have this guy attached. So what we're going to do is we're going to unattach him. Oh, we got to go to auto assist mode first. Set mode, auto assist. We're going to detach him. We're going to attach him. Can I attach more than one? One, two, three, four, five, six. He can do six. Let's see here. What, what's his properties? Properties, HQ. Um, he can... Has three action points, but it doesn't say how many. I think it's just five. Unless... In research... Oh, we're command and control, so we're six, right? Yeah, so we should have six per. So this guy here can take another guy. And this guy here can detach him, attach him. And this guy here can attach that guy. Okay, which means that he can have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can he have more than six? No, six. Six, that's it. Okay, and at least until I have another... Uh, Another bonus on that. So, okay, so I've got that done. So now I can go about destroying these guys, right? So let's go ahead and hit him and hopefully destroy him because that would help. The other thing I could do is first off, fly down here and find out what's where, right? So let's fly him down here first. And there's the interceptor. And then... He can't do anything else. Oh, that's unfortunate. But his interceptor's gone. This guy can go fly up in this direction and do some scouting and find that guy. Okay, so there's that. And we might as well get ready to move up. All right, so we know he's going to go there. We know we want to destroy him. Hopefully, he will. His this will end in his destruction. He's got no entrenchment. Hmm. All right, that worked out well. All right, so now I can actually, you know, attack him, but I might lose some stuff. Whereas if I bring him down into here, oh, let's do it. Let's take that back. All right, it didn't take any damage. Perfect. And he can move around. So this guy can get all the way down into here and attack him. Well, let's undo that for a second. He can move down here and attack that guy. He can also move here, get a one to two. This guy can move into here and kill him. Let's do that. We definitely want to destroy wherever we can. Oh, we can get him. So. That's not, that's very unfortunate. And he doesn't have any more attacks. However, we should be able to bring him down. Get a one to one. Oh, and it didn't get it. That's bad. I think he's fine there. Let's go ahead and blow him up with this guy. Shot. Good. All right, so that's uh, some more experience. And we're getting close. This guy can move on. This guy can move here. This guy can move here. Okay. Now we've got a little bit more that we can do. We definitely want to do some destruction. If I move back in here, that would probably be a good thing, but then I might get surrounded. Uh, yeah, that's always the burden of that. That is always the burden of worrying about if you're going to get surrounded or not. Well, I think I'll... If I come down here... That doesn't really do me any good, does it? Let's let's hold on that one. 
Okay, so uh, we know this guy's there. We know this guy's here. He can move up and attack, although not do too much damage against that army. What we'd really like to do is surround him, right? So that's a one to three, which is suboptimal. Uh, this is a one to two, which is also suboptimal. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit him first. He's the hard one. To Moved him back. Didn't take any damage. Very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and kill this guy. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't kill him. But we can probably get rid of him with this guy here. Oh, and an epic fail. All right, that's not good. Ah, well, this guy still has a strike. He's going to move on up here. Hold on. Maybe this guy moves up and strikes. Close that unit. And closes that off. Now he's going to move. He's going to move all the way up to Warsaw, I think. But first, we're going to move him here. See if we can't finish him. Also sauce. All right. He can now move up to Warsaw. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any strikes left. Um, I would hate to have these guys attacked. He's going to have to be closer if he's going to get on Warsaw, so he's going to go up here to Breslau. He'll come here. This guy has not done anything yet. He would really like to move up and attack. However, I don't know that that's going to be worth my while. Doesn't look like it. This guy is pretty much doing nothing all the way around. So he's going to move closer to get in on that. And we'll have to take out this guy next time who's going to be hard to kill, I'm sure. Okay, so we can take some damage on that, but we can probably hurt him, or we can move up. So what did we do in here? I think we're going to move. If I move here, that doesn't suck completely, but it leaves me open. One to three. I don't know if I can kill him after that. Let's just isolate him. Move up here. See if we can kill that guy. And we'll move up here. Kill this guy. Can't move in, unfortunately. Gonna leave him where he's at. That's all right. This guy's gonna move over here on the other side of the mountain. He's going to move in here, although I am leaving this open, but that's okay, I think. Let's take Premzel. And we'll move him here to slow those guys. Oh, I don't know if that does any good. Um, but he is behind the river at the moment, so he's okay. So this guy has a strike, but doesn't have anyone meaningful to strike at. We're going to go ahead and move up and just stay there. Um, this guy still can do something, anything, even if it's wrong. Going here doesn't, can hurt him, but not kill him, I don't think. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and reduce him a little bit. That's okay. We'll move him in here. Look at that. We can still go there. I put myself out of supply, but really hurt that guy. There we go. And we'll bring this guy forward. And this guy down one. Okay, so these guys don't really want to attack that because, well, they'll just get hurt. These guys are good to go. I can probably reinforce him to only one point. Bummer. I still have 10 left. 
not much I can do with that. You know, Mr. Harry Smith told me that I can uh, do the research and get rid of uh, get rid of rockets, but I'm thinking I might need those here in the future. Okay, so that's on the European front. Over here, over here, the first thing we're going to do is purchase. Oh, well, let's hold off on that one. But I really do need a garrison. Do I not? Let's purchase a garrison. Cost 50. We'll hold off on that for just a second. Okay, so we do want to move up here. And we see the guy from Nanning. And we're going to go ahead and slide on up into here, into the pocket. Hopefully he won't come down. He's going to go up here. This guy is going to cruise on. This guy is going to do a set mode. Or I can upgrade him. Carrier. Upgrade the naval weaponry or the long range aircraft. No, I don't want to do either of those just yet. What I want to do is come into here. Go ahead and bring him here. And load him. And move him up one. And they, they're basically going to swap some spots next time, right? So, okay, this guy is going to need to be reinforced. This guy needs an upgrade. This guy needs an upgrade. Okay, so we've still got 94. Let's go ahead and purchase the garrison one each. Purchase, leaving me with 44. Okay, so what we really want to do is kill some of these guys off. I can move in here and attack him. I can also attack him from up here. That does three damage. Um, this does nothing. That does nothing. Are these guys dug in? They are, they are entrenched. So let's unentrench them real quick here. I've got a bomber. I can unentrench these guys. I think we'll take him out first. Okay. So that medium bomber reduced the entrenchment by one. We will now take it to zero. That was unfortunate. He's going to come around and hit him from here because I think it does more damage over here. That does the same amount. Now, partisans are heavy in Nanchang, so we're going to go ahead and move him up here. Uh, we're not going to be able to kill him. That's unfortunate. Oh, maybe we will. We'll see. Get a bomber here. That's a fighter. That's a bomber. Should be able to off him. Okay, so we have destroyed the first unit. And we're going to bring him a little bit further south, I think. Uh, the fighter, I think what we need to do is upgrade to advanced fighter. Do we also want to do long range aircraft? 38. That would take everything. Let's slow down here for a second and take a look at anything else that we can upgrade up here. Um, we're going to want to move him. We're going to want to move him. <coughs> Let's see, the, uh, he's going to have to sit and protect both of those areas. He's going to move on up. How far can he go? He can only go to two spaces. You know, once again, I didn't do the uh, headquarters thing over here, which I should have done. I was attacking. Um, we have this guy here that can reduce this entrenchment, but it's just going to come right back. But he can jump into there, which is really nice. Um, he can also jump in there.
Let's jump in here. Take that hex. Do I want to attack here? Let's see here. He is connected. Hold on. I want to do some auto assist here too. Property set mode auto assist. Okay, we've got all those. That's fine. Um, I think what we'll do is uh, we will see one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I have any. Uh, let's check the research here. No, I'm at zero. Okay, we're going to have to definitely pump that up. I can see why that's so important now. Um, so do I want to land in this position here? I probably do. Um, I'll pop him out. God, I hate doing this because you never know how it's going to end up, right? But let's do it. Uh, see, it hurt me. I didn't want that to happen. He'll come in here. He won't be able to do anything. I'm going to go ahead and sit on that. Uh, he's going to have to move back a couple hexes um, just because. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade the fighter. We do both. We can. Uh, let's do it. Okay, that way we don't have to worry about the fighter for a little bit. All right, so um, now this guy here is going to move here. And he's going to move back just to claim some territory. This guy's going to move here. And he's going to move. Do I need to move back? Where's the... Uh, Actually, he's kind of good there, but I want to move back just because there is the uh, piece there that I haven't captured yet. Okay, so Hang Chow is good. Um, we're good there. We're good up in there. We're good up in here. Don't know that I want to attack the fort and or across the river. That just seems silly to me. He is going to be good. He is going to be good. He's going to need some more people coming back. Um... I need to leave those there for now. <laughs> He's coming around. That'll be good. I have no money left to do anything. Do I want to move anybody else? These guys are sitting there for now. I guess I could move him to another port. I can get them closer. Let's go here. We can always upgrade later. Same thing with him. We're going to move him to another port. Let's move him here. We can build and upgrade later. That's my escort carrier. He's okay where he's at. These guys are okay where they're at. That guy is not. He needs to move. Let's bring him around. I don't know to hear poo song. Just so we know where he's at. And then we got one guy way down south somewhere. He's going to move back up here. Okay. Also, do we have anybody else over here? I don't think so. What we do still have, however, is these guys. I totally forgot about them again. He's going to come on down here and sit on this route. And he will be a raider, if he's not already, because we want to cut some points. Same thing with these guys. These guys can sit here right in the middle. They're going to set convoy mode to raider. They're going to sit here in the middle and be happy campers. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have the rest of the fleet. Let's uh, bring him all the way up to here. Uh, we don't want to get caught right off the bat. Um, if I move him out, he's probably going to get smoked. Could hide in here, but I'd love to be able to get them all out. But I don't know that that's going to be the case. And I think I'm going to have to leave them there. They are going to have to stay here. Okay, so the boats are going to need upgrades, so they can go ahead and come on back here. Uh, this one can come here. And now everybody's in port except for the submarines, which I would really like to get out, but it's extremely dangerous to send them out there. 
That would be a dangerous proposition. I think I'm going to save them. I will think I'll save them where they're at. Okay, so I'll just have that one out and about. These guys are okay. Uh, might as well move them into position here. Take an upgrade later. He's fine. He's good. They're good. That's all good. I've already done the south. They're good. Uh, he's going to have to get a thing going on. Okay, so that's going to be the first turn. Um, I think I got it all done. I'm going to hit the go. I'm really going to end the turn. We're going to see what happens, and I'll put in a cut. Okay, do I want them now? Um, well, that's a good question. Uh, let's see, I'd get 50 back to complete the mission. No, uh, I, I don't think so. I think I'll just keep them fully maxed. Uh, Second Corps is mobilized. Uh, we could send it to Abyssinia for 30 uh, MM, MPPs. Absolutely, let's do that. And we would like to continue back through to the Atlantic. Which is probably not something I'm going to do in the future, right? Because, well, it's... Uh, if I play against a human, they know I'm going to be doing that because they've seen my videos. So there's and maybe if I what I have to do is turn it into something else. All right. So uh, they suffer morale. We want to send you boats. We've already got some there. And that is it for that. So we're going to, I guess we have to see what they do before we can end the turn. These guys should be out of supply. These guys should be out of supply. They put themselves back in supply. Yeah, that's okay. That means you're no longer entrenched. I'm good with that. Uh, and and the thing is, what I really like to do, what I really like to try in this one is to try to take out Malta. So I'm going to focus on the uh, the Balkans as well as Malta. And I'm going to try to leave Russia alone a little bit, and we'll see what happens. Um, all right. Is that it for the turn? We're going to about to find out. I probably will have to take out Posen at one point or another. <laughs> These guys, Warsaw should be an easy kill. Uh, what happens? Chinese usually just posture. Okay, Red Army begins to cross Napoleon. That's good. Soviet Nazi Partition Pact is in place. Zealand declares war, and we're calculating supplies, so that will be it for the cut. I will uh, stop right there. So, looks like we did, uh, they lost 10 on that one, and that's it. Okay, so we are definitely going to be doing that invasion, and this is where we're going to put in the cut. Okay, so I'll hit the cancel button. Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick screenshot, everybody. And I am happy that you are joining me again in this uh, great and wonderful game, uh, Strategic Command, what WW2 World at War. Please like if you would like to uh, see me continue this game. Please comment. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of games to play, and I want to play the ones that you want to see. So please comment. Please like. Subscribe. You know, glory to the Reich and all that. And next time I'll play the Allies, and it'll be glory to the Allies. But uh, until then, you've been gaming with the Colonel, and I'm out.